This is a short instructional video illustrating how to format an APA style paper using Microsoft Word 2008 or 2011 for the Macintosh operating system. This video will illustrate style rules for the 6th edition of the APA publication manual. If you are not already familiar with the Macintosh operating system, notice that you can position the Word window by clicking at the top of the window, holding down, and releasing the click. And to adjust the size of the window, pull, uh, click and pull on the lower right corner of the window. And next to that, you can zoom in and out as, as much as you like to adjust the text size. Similar to Word 2007 and 2010 on a Windows operating system, there's a ribbon at the top of the window that organizes menu options by category. Most familiar menu options can be found in the Home tab. However, all menu options are also available in the bar at the top of the screen, where menus for all applications appear. To begin formatting your template for APA style, click on File in the top menu bar and click on Page Setup. To find the familiar Page Setup options that you see on a Windows program, choose Microsoft Word for settings. Make sure you are applying your options to the whole document. Click on Margins and set all four margins to one inch. Your header and footer should be one half inch from the edges. Then click on Layout Options. And notice the box with two header footer options. APA style requires the first page to have a different header format than all subsequent pages. So to set this preference, check the box that says Different First Page. If you'll be writing papers primarily in APA style, you could save time in the future by clicking Default rather than OK to make sure all future blank templates automatically have a different first page header and have the properly sized margins. Notice that you can adjust the size of your margins when you hover the cursor over the edge of the margin so that it looks like two arrows. Where the text can be typed is independent of the margins. You can control where the text appears by moving the arrows that are located at the edge of the margins. To control your text settings with more precision, go to the top menu bar again, click on Format, and then click on Font. APA style requires you to use Times New Roman 12 point font throughout the manuscript, including the header. The only exception is within a figure where a sans serif font is preferred. Choose the correct font and size, then click OK or choose Default to make sure all future documents maintain the same settings. Next, in the same menu, click Format and choose Paragraph, where you set your spacing and indentation. APA requires all paragraphs to be flush left and to have first line indentation. The entire manuscript, not just the text, should be double spaced. And make sure there are no extra spaces before or after paragraphs. Click on Line and Page Breaks to remove the default option for Widow Orphan Control, which, when selected, would automatically move lines to the following page to prevent any isolated lines in a heading or paragraph. This is not required by APA style and it often results in an unnecessary waste of space, so don't use Widow Orphan Control. To insert your header, click on View in the top menu bar and select Header Footer. Notice that a new tab appears in the ribbon at the top of the window to control these options. You can move between the header and the text by double-clicking outside or inside the header. In the Header Footer tab, you can click on page number to insert automatic page numbers. On the first page header, type the words running head and a colon to the left of your page number. Then type your tab key to move the page number to the flush right position. Make sure the right tab in the ruler 
is all the way to the right edge margin. Choose keywords from your title for your abbreviated header and make sure to type it in all capital letters. When you're ready to begin typing in your main document, double click in the body of the text and click enter a couple of times. Not too many times, just enough so that the title is still positioned in the upper half of the title page and begin typing the title. Capitalize the first word of the title and the subtitle along with all major words and make sure that it is centered in the page. APA style includes all major words to be nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs, along with any conjunctions and prepositions that are four or more letters. Below your title, type your name, and below that, your university or other institution. Press enter again and go to the top menu to select insert, break, page break. Rather than typing enter so many times, this method will assure that the label on your next page will always appear in the correct position, even if you make changes to your paper. Center the word abstract at the top of the second page, then press enter and insert another page break. You can type the title, or you can copy the title from the first page to make sure it's at the exact same format. Press enter again and set your text flush left with first line indentation. Remember that the abstract is the only paragraph in your manuscript that is not indented. To insert your header on all additional pages, double click in the header position, copy the header and page number, but not the words running head, from the first page header, and paste it into any subsequent page header. The page numbers will be automatic, but make sure the typeface remains Time is New Roman 12 point font, and that the header itself is flush left, while the page number is flush right. All sections of the main text are continuous, so the next page break should be for the reference page. Make sure that you remove any indentation before centering the word references at the top of the reference page. All actual references must be set with hanging indentation. To do this, you can set it using the ruler at the top of the text, or you can go back to Format, Paragraph, and set your indentation to hanging. Consult the APA manual for details about how to properly format references. Note that between a range of numbers, APA requires the use of an indash, not a regular hyphen. You can insert an indash by clicking on Insert in the top menu bar, then selecting Symbol and Advanced Symbol. Choose the Special Characters option. Select Indash, click Insert, and you can close, or if you'd like to set up your own keyboard shortcut, you can click on Keyboard Shortcut. Notice that it's already defaulted to pressing Command and pressing the minus sign on the number keypad. If you're using a keyboard without a numeric keypad, you can create your own shortcut here, such as holding Command and pressing the regular hyphen. Notice the difference in size between a regular hyphen and an n-dash and a larger m-dash. Each of these serves a specific purpose in APA style, so make sure you use the right one. The manual way to generate an n-dash is to type the page number, space, regular hyphen, space, and the last page number. When you type a period or space again, your hyphen will become an n-dash but you must remember to remove the spaces afterwards. Instructional videos can be found on the Apple or Microsoft websites, or you can simply Google your question using keywords. But the best way to become familiar with your program is to play with it. The more you point and click to test out every possibility, the more you will learn what is and what is not helpful. For other APA formatting inquiries, you can consult the APA-style PowerPoint on the Kennesaw State Psychology Lab webpage, 
or consult the APA publication manual. Thank you for watching.